It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the Packers and the Bills, under the lights, on Sunday night. Oh, they indeed love their football here in upstate New York as you get a look inside Rocket Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Buffalo Bills. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. tackled just shy of the 25. And the Buffalo offense ready to bring out their high-powered attack. And at the center of it all, of course, the rocket arm man in his fifth year out of Wyoming, Josh Allen. Buffalo gave Allen the most guaranteed money in league history before the start of last season. And boy, did he justify it by playing at an elite level once again, taking the Bills to 11 wins and another division title. Along the way, he threw for over 4,400 yards again and ran for 760 with 42 total touchdowns for a top five offense. They were knocked down in overtime thriller against Kansas City in the playoffs, and they will be one of the favorites to win the AFC this season. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. On second and 10, Allen forced out to his left. He turned that into a nice game, gets him eight yards closer for third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards that time. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Devin Singletary with his first carry of the game. And he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Right back to Singletary on second down. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Our game here, really a dream matchup for folks who like good quarterback play, and really who doesn't like good quarterback play. I mean, you got the two-time reigning MVP. Allen hit. He lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Green Bay's offense trots out. And just as it has been since week one of the 2008 season, Aaron Rodgers leads the way now in his 18th year in the National Football League. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. 
And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Four receivers in the formation here. Three to the left, one to the right, second and three. And meanwhile, Rodgers throw taken in by Watkins here. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. On second and 11 now. Rodgers setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Caught by Kyle. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hook up and set up a first and goal. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Shotgun now for Rodgers. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. now on third and goal. Steps away to his left. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. And Johnson's kick is good. And the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. From the 10. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit, right? Rest up the mind, rest up the body, get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And they are over 500 for the season four and three. They got back above 500 with a victory last week. And Charles, you think this is a very important week for them, do you not? I certainly do because when you start to do the math, and yes, I'm using my fingers to count. If you're four and four at the midway point, let's say you're saying 10 wins is your cutoff line for a playoff berth. It's usually right around that number. A loss here, all of a sudden you've got to go six and two down the stretch just to reach 10 wins. That means this game is vital. Now Rodgers. 
He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and 10. Rodgers now to throw. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. From the four, it's second and a couple. Here's Rodgers. And it's a Packers touchdown. Sammy Watkins, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers are able to cash in for six. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they demoralize teams. That's how they put them on notice. And Johnson's extra point, up and good. And the lead grows to 10-0. So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for nine. Allen now looks to throw. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he is going to have a Bills first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Off the play fake. Steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine-yard loss. Well, on that one, they, they go with a play fake CD, but I don't think anybody really was fooled. All eyes were fixated on the quarterback, and they got him to the ground. And to run this play successfully, you've got to make sure that everyone is doing their part. You actually have to sell this play. You've got to sell the run action. Otherwise, why do you stop at the running back? You just run straight for the quarterback and put him on the ground. Throwing on second and long. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. This defense for the Packers, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Throwing his Allen on third. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Rashawn Gary racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. They were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decided to make it a priority, and it's working out. On fourth down, Matt Ariza is sent on to punt. And this will be taken at the 13. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Now Sammy Watkins and the rest of the offense getting set to go again. Sitting right around the midpoint of the season, on pace for 1,000 yards. 
good year so far, and I'm sure film study being devoted to him a little bit more on the other side. They have to because the pace that he's carrying right now, if you're, if you're pushing a thousand yard pace as a receiver, that means he warrants your attention. And right now, precision is going on with their offense. It's kind of like that timepiece you wear on your wrist, you know, that good stuff. You gotta knock that off somehow. Chip away at that time and change things up a little bit and make them go to other things and make them do those things better. Yeah, try to make him uncomfortable. Not many teams have been able to do that so far this year. He's got a man complete. And they're gonna have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 36 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. And again, it's Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. And he's going to get this inside the 30. They moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. But this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. First down carry by Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Here's Jones again on second down. Down to the 25. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Throwing now is Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard. And down inside the 15 he goes. Rodgers teaming up with Lazard there for a Packer first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. This is Cobb with a catch right side. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. From the nine, second and five. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. Jones diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows its versatility and gets both done on this drive. Out for the PAT, here's Johnson. He's got it, and it's 17-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones. Here's Johnson set and ready to kick this one away. 
And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. No, but well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, a I think you just called a desperation time. <laughs> I think yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Now Allen off the bootleg. He'll get this to Devin Singletary out of the backfield. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And here's Matt Ariza now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is fielded at the 27. 35 yards that time on the punt. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes. Steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game, opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. On first down, Rodgers. And he slings one that's incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That burst good for 20 and a first down. The duo of Aaron Jones and A.J. Dillon split the work in Green Bay last season. Jones was still his excellent self with almost 1,400 all-purpose yards and 10 touchdowns. He even moved into the all-time top five for the pack in rushing. No small feat with that franchise's history. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Rodgers going to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. Touchdown! Robert Tunyon, 38 yards. And the Packers are able to add on to their first half lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Johnson for the extra point try. And the lead is now 24. So that drive, four plays. And it was Robert Tunyon capping it all off on the touchdown grab. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted just two for six thus far. This time they face a third and two to throw. It's Allen. He completes it to the tight end, Knox. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Throwing on first down is Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. 
And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing now is Allen, and Davis has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. The big man, get the oxygen tank ready. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. Charles, they are putting on a show right now. I mean, with that fumble return for the touchdown, you think about the size of this advantage. Heck, it's a four-score game right now, and we're still in the first half. And that has to be the highlight, Brandon, with how infrequently we see fumbles return to the house. But if you aren't inclined to pick this as the game signature play so far, you do have no shortage of alternatives to select from. This has been nothing short of a clinic. And as noted, we still have a half a ball to play. And Johnson's extra point up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. And here come the Bills. And in just about every game we see, partner, what do we do when we look at the stat sheet? We go right to the turnover differential. Without a doubt, because when we see that, that pretty much tells the tale of the game. And I know there's still plenty of time to go, but you've got to take care of the football in order to win it. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get Holding the call. Offense. 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 Oh. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Now Allen. Throwing the out route, and Crowder makes the catch. They'll go option to the short side. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that'll move the ball downfield. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. Now we see Sammy Watkins getting ready to go again on offense. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day, because otherwise, he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Up the middle, Jones. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Bills will take over possession here up at the 44. 
Ty Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 44. He'll give it to Singletary here to start the drive. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's second and ten. Here's Allen to throw it. Throw right side caught by Davis. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. On play action, Allen. Man open here is Crowder. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And this is caught inside the five. I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. This is first and goal and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. From the gun, it's Allen. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Gabriel Davis from three yards out. And the Bills are able to cut into that deficit. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is down to 24. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Rodgers to throw. That's complete, and once again, it's Cobb. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Here's Rodgers. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Cobb. And he is going to have a Packers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Rodgers to throw once more. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. Rodgers now to throw. He's got Watkins on the out route. Four receivers to keep tabs on here. Three of them to the right side on second and five. Caught left side by Cobb. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Now the Packers are going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Now it's Rodgers. That is caught by Cobb, and it's a Packer touchdown. Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes, and the Packers would extend their lead here just before halftime. 
Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. And Johnson's extra point, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a route. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. From there, we're off to check out another game. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. And on now to a check on the next-gen stats in that first half for the Packers. And our statisticians got through a couple of pencils already. This offense is on pace for potentially 500 yards in passing. That's pretty incredible. Meanwhile, for the Bills, they weren't quite as successful throwing the ball as their counterparts were, but they still were able to move the ball reasonably well in that first. 